says to find the first seven values. Notice we're starting at one, f of one. So we're going to find the first seven values. Okay. And then we're going to find the second differences. So we'll have to find the first differences and then the second differences. Okay. So let's write our function down here. F of n minus one minus n. And let's get started. F of one equals three. So F of one is three. All right. Now we're going to substitute two in. Well, two minus one is one. So we have F of one and then minus two. So negative two. F of one is three. Three minus two is one. So F of two is one. All right, let's substitute three in for N. Three minus one is two. So I really have a two here. F of two equals one. Bring down your negative sign and then N. Well, we're putting three in. So one minus three or one. Negative three is negative two. So f of 3 is negative 2. Now we're going to substitute 4 in for n. So 4 minus 1 is 3. f of 3 is negative 2. Bring down your negative sign, and you're putting 4 in. So put a 4 right here. Negative 2, negative 4, you owe me 2. You owe me 4 more dollars. That's negative 6. All right. I better pause. I really probably should check these as we go along, but... I'm not sure if they give you these answers. No, they don't, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, um, actually, they do. Let me check these as we go along, okay? To make sure I'm not making a mistake back here that affects all of our answers the rest of the way, but so far, we're good. Okay, moving on, putting five in for n. So put a five right here. Five minus one is four. F of four is negative six. Bring down your negative sign. Now we're putting 5 in for n. Negative 6, negative 5, negative 11. And that would be your f of 5. f of 5 equals negative 11. All right, moving on now to putting 6 in, substituting 6 in for n. <coughs> um, for n right here, we're going to put a 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. F of 5 is negative 11. Then bring down your negative sign. Then we're putting 6 in for n. So we would get negative 17. All right. And then lastly, we're going to substitute 7 in for n. And uh, 7 minus 1 is 6. So we have f of 6, which is negative 17. And then bring down your negative sign. We're putting 7 in for n, so negative 24. So f of 7 is negative 24. And here we go. Um, let's see. Negative 24. Uh, positive 17. Negative 7. Uh, that would be a negative 6. This would be a negative 5. This would be a negative 4, I believe. Yep. Um, this would be a negative 3. And this would be a negative 2. So, again, if you're struggling with these negative signs, it's so easy to make a little mistake. Dudes. Students, use your calculators, like this one here, negative 24 minus a negative 17. Well, that's negative 24, positive 17. You owe me $24, you pay 17, you still owe me 7 more, negative 7, okay? Now let's continue on, so here's what we did. We found the first 7 values, okay? Now they want us to find the second differences, so we first had to find the first differences. Now let's find the second differences. This would be negative 1. 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 And this would be negative 1. Okay? There we go. And so the second differences in this problem are all negative 1s. Okay? So just opening up your homework with two quick practice problems on finding the first differences and finding the second differences. Okay, now let's go ahead and get into the main part of the homework. We're going to 
me three. All right, moving on to number three. Three minus one is two, so I have f of two. f of two is three. And then for n, I'm substituting three in, so we're going to get six. So f of three is six. Next is four. We're going to substitute four in. Four minus one is three, so I have f of three. f of three is six. Plus n, n is four. So I'm going to get ten right here for f of four, so I substitute four in, and I get out ten. My input is four. My output is ten. All right, f of five. Well, I'll put a five right here. Five minus one is four. f of four is ten. Ten plus n n is five. That's going to give me fifteen. So f of five is fifteen. All right. Now we're going to substitute six into the formula or into the uh, function. Excuse me. Six minus one is five. So I have f of five. f of five is fifteen plus the number I'm substituting in six. So I'm going to get twenty-one. Now. Remember what to do. We're going to check the first differences and the second differences and see if we get the same number, the same non-zero number, all the way across. And so here we go. Um, 21 minus 15 is 6. 15 minus 10 is 5. 10 minus 6 is 4. 6 minus 3 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. 1 minus 0 is 1. Did I get the same number going across? Well, obviously not. Every single number has to be the same, and it's not, okay? Well, let's do it again. This is my first differences right here. Let's find my, let's find my second differences, and it's going to work. 6 minus 5 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. I got the same non-zero number. It cannot be zero, okay? I got the same number all the way across for my second differences. So I know that this function right here is a quadratic function. It has a quadratic relationship. Okay. All right, moving on to number 32. We're going to start at 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we know f of 0 is 2. And here's my function f of n minus 1, the entire thing, squared, all right? And so here we go. And that did not work, did it? There we go. All right, let's go ahead and substitute 1 in first. 1 minus 1 is 0, so I have f of 0 squared. f of 0 is 2. 2 squared is 4. This should not take long at all, students, to find these 7 values. In fact, we might, well, I'll go to, you're probably going to take a shortcut. Obviously, all you're doing is this. You're squaring this number, putting it here, squaring this number, putting it here, squaring this number, putting it here. But as a teacher, I want to make sure I go slow, so you're welcome to fast forward through this problem if you're doing okay with it. But anyways, here we go. Now we're going to substitute 2 in for n. So put a 2 right here. 2 minus 1 is 1. So I have f of 1 squared. f of 1 is 4. So 4 squared is 16. So f of 2 is 16. All right. Moving on. We're going to substitute 3 in for n. 3 minus 1 
to substitute. 
f of n minus 1 plus 2n or positive 2n. And we know f of 1 is 0. So now we're going to evaluate f of 2. Alright, so where the n is, I will put a 2 right here. 2 minus 1 is 1. f of 1 is 0. 2 times n. Now don't forget what am I putting in. I'm putting in, I put it right here above. I'm putting 2 in, okay? Um, f of 1 is 0. I'll put a 2 in for n. 2 times 2 is 4. So 0 plus 4 would give me a 4. So f of 2 is 4, all right? So now we're going to evaluate f of 3. So we're putting 3 in for n. Put a 3 right here. 3 minus 1 is 2. f of 2 is 4. So we get a 10. We'll put a 10 right here. All right. Moving on now to f of 4. So we're going to substitute 4 in for n. All right. Put a 4 right here. 4 minus 1 is 3. f of 3. f of 3 is 10. Put a 4 right here. 2 times 4 is 8. 10 positive 8 is going to give me 18. All right. Moving on now to f of 5. in for n. 5 minus 1 is 4. Notice right here, um, f of 4 is going to give me 18. So f of 4 is 18. And then for n right here, I'll put a 5. 2 times 5 is 10. Positive 10. That gives me 28. So f of 5 is 28. Moving on to f of 6. Put a 6 in for n. 6 minus 1 is 5 f of 5 is 28. We'll put a 6 right here. 2 times 6 is 12. 28 positive 12 would give you 40. And then lastly, we're going to substitute 7 in for n. 7 minus 1 is 6. f of 6 is 40. 2 times 7 is 14. So 40 positive 14 is 54. Okay. So there we go. We found our seven values. Now let's find our first differences. 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4. How did I get those? 54 minus 40, 40 minus 28, 28 minus 18, 18 minus 10, 10 minus 4, 4 minus 0. Well, do all of these numbers match? No. Let's do it again. 14 minus 12, 2. 12 minus 10 is 2. 10 minus 8 is 2. 8 minus 6 is 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. As I like to say, booyah, we got it. All of those numbers are the same. Quadratic. Okay, so this function here has a quadratic relationship. If you were to get out the ordered pairs, like these ordered pairs right here, 1, 0, 2, 4, you put in a 2, you got out a 4, 3, 10, 4, 18. You'd have to find the vertex, but if you were to graph this, you would get a quadratic function. Back here on number 33, if you were to take these ordered pairs, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, 4, 8, and plot those points and graph it, you would get a line. All right, number 35, 36, and we're finished. All right, a couple more of those. Here we go. We're going to start at 0 and put 7 functions in or for seven values, not seven functions. There we go. We already know that f of 0 equals negative or equals 1. My function is f of n minus 1 plus n squared. There it is. All right, there's my function. Let's copy that so we can use it over and over. And here we go. Let's substitute 1 in for n. So 1 minus 1 is 0, f of 0 is 1. You're putting 1 in for n, 1 squared is 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2. Moving on to the next value, f of 2. We're going to substitute 2 in for n, all right? 2 minus 1 is 1, so I have f of 1, f of 1 is 2, plus n squared, put a 2 in for n, 2 times is 4. So we get out a 6. Alright. Now let's
let's find f of 3. So we're putting 3 in for n. 3 minus 1 is 2. So I have f of 2. f of 2 is 6. Bring down your positive sign. n squared. Put a 3 in for n. That's 9. And you'll get 15. Now let's evaluate f of 4.
So there's my first seven values. Now let's find the difference, okay? Negative six minus a negative five, that's negative one, 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 and that's negative one. Again, use your calculators if you need to, okay? So all of my numbers are the same, and they're not zero. So I have a linear relationship because these numbers here are my first difference, okay? Guys, I hope this homework help video has been help to you. If you have any questions, never hesitate to call or email.